Hi everyone, I'm Maddie Ziegler and today I'm going to be taking you through my everyday skincare routine and a fun graphic eye I've been doing recently. First, I'm just going to go in with my cleanser. This is a silver clarifying wash from Sony Dakar and I'm just going to lather that over my skin. Next, I'm going to go in with this exfoliator. So this is either going to be super satisfying or like really gross to you, but it's going to take off all of my dead skin. Growing up, I've always had really clear skin until about, I wanna say three years ago, I started heavily breaking out and now my skin has drastically changed from pretty normal to really sensitive. All of my dead skin has come up. So now it will create a nicer layer for when I put the makeup on. I'll do it maybe two to three times a week. Because my skin is so sensitive, I try not to overdo it with my products. Next, I'm gonna go in with this facial essence. I actually picked this product up in Japan. Makeup shopping and skincare shopping is my ultimate heaven, and that's probably my favorite thing to do ever. So I just take it into my hand. I probably just do about a couple drops. And this is one of those things where you kind of have to like press it into your skin to really make sure you get it in there. Now I'm gonna go in with this acne treatment face oil. So I just do literally just a whole pump like that. There's no like fragrance. It's just like a really clean smell, which I love. I'm prone to breaking out most on my forehead, but these two little guys decided to show up to the party today. <laughs> I don't know why. They weren't invited, but they're here anyway. I started doing skincare at such a young age only because I started competitive dancing at the age of four or five. At that age, I was already wearing false lashes, red lips, rhinestones, all of the above. So I had to really make sure I was treating my skin. And yeah, I'm super disciplined to having skincare routine. I never forget, even if I'm like ready to go to sleep, I always will make sure I do it before I sleep because I'm dedicated to making my skin as best as it can be. Now that that's kind of absorbed into my skin, I'm gonna move on to my moisturizer. So this product is amazing. You can get it basically anywhere. You can get it at a natural food store. It's the skin food. And this honestly is so nice and really good for my sensitive skin. It works really well with me. So I use it all that much. I'm very obsessed with moisturizer and keeping my skin hydrated. So maybe I did a little too much, but it's okay because I always take my moisturizer down to my neck and chest. Okay, now I'm going to move in to this product. This is the Omega Oil. It really just helps even out my skin tone. It hydrates it, keeps it from getting too dry. So I'm obsessed. I take about like two pumps, just like that. And I just, the same exact thing that I do with my moisturizer. I'm gonna go in with this little guy today and I'm just gonna kind of start to sculpt my face in kind of like my cheekbone area as I'm blending in the Omega oil. So I feel like this really helps with circulation and sculpting my face, which I really love. Now that I look super greasy. No, I'm kidding. Uh, now that I'm like really, really moisturized, we're just gonna go in with one more. And this is the Drunk Elephant. Um, this is just the Sea Tango Eye Cream. And I feel like also when applying eye cream, I feel like everyone just tends to do under the eyes, but you can't forget about the lid as well. Sunscreen. I've noticed I got a little sunspots around here, so it's really important to make sure we're keeping our skin super safe and protected from the sun. So what I love about this one is it starts off white, but it immediately rubs in clear, which is super important because I don't like to have a white cast. We're gonna move in to some lips. So this is a lip scrub and I like to do this pretty frequently. I don't usually have fake nails, so this is really weird.
So I'm gonna take the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask and this product I can't go anywhere without. So I'm just gonna go in with like that much and just lather this on my lips. Okay, I think that is my skincare routine complete and now we're ready to move on to the best part, which is the makeup. Now I'm gonna move in with the Kogendo Moisture Foundation. So I just take about that much. What's crazy is like looking back, I wore so much more makeup when I was younger than I do now. I just feel like as I've gotten older, I've loved a more natural look and I've tried to embrace my natural self as best as I can. So I'm gonna take the NARS. I've been using this for years and it's never failed me, so why change it up? I just do little dots under my eyes and then I just put it on the little friends that aren't welcome. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of a lighter concealer just to add more dimension. So like, I feel like in my T-zone is where I want it to be brighter. I have been working with Sia for, I think it's going on seven or eight years now. I think the reason honestly that I've kind of started to embrace the natural look is because when I was 11 and I did chandelier, she barely had me wear makeup. It was so simple and I was shocked because I come from a competition background and I was just like, that's it, that's all we're doing. And I really owe it all to her because now I feel like I've started to accept myself for the good and the bad. And she's really helped me embrace that side of myself and I'm so thankful for that. Looking back at some of my old dance photos, I am so horrified and embarrassed of what I did to my face. I was like, I can't believe how much contour I put. Like our dance teacher used to make us contour our abs. I feel like now it's just kind of a funny thing to look back on and be like, I can't believe that there were so many times that it looked so intense. I am very into creams. I hardly ever use powders. If anything, it's just to set the face. But in terms of bronzer, it's always a cream product. So I just go in, do circular motions and blend that in. I'm gonna do two cream blushes today because they give two different finishes. This is the Morphe X Matty Ziegler. So I just do just two little dots like that. And I just feel like this gives such a cute look and I feel like it adds a lot to your makeup look. I like to bring it on the nose as well. I feel like just to kind of bring it all together. This blush is also incredible. This is from Charlotte Tilbury and this is also another cream. So I just do just a baby amount and I try to heavily focus that more where I would put the highlight. See how it's like honestly already starting to give me that highlighted look. I love to see boys wearing blush too. I feel like it just adds a lot to your look. This is a Dior one and I've literally been using this for four years now. I just, I love it and I swear by it and it's gonna be my go-to highlighter forever. So I just like to take a little bit on the high points of my face. Now I'm gonna move on with brows. Um, I like to keep them pretty natural just because once again, that's kind of my overall vibe. I literally have done my makeup in the weirdest of places. I've gotten ready in so many taxis. Any moving vehicle, it's happened. I feel like honestly, maybe it was a way of just helping me get better at makeup. And I just think they just look so much better when they're brushed up. And then that way you don't have to worry about them for the rest of the day because they're just locked in place. This is my favorite powder. It's so lightweight, so easy. It just still looks like your skin, which I love. So I'm just gonna pat just the tiniest bit under my eyes. I feel like I need a little bit just so it doesn't get even more creased over time. Now we're going to move on to my favorite part, which is the eyes. I created 
my own palette with Morphe. It was my dream come true. I'm gonna go in with this shade called Angel. All of these shades in my palette mean so much to me. And this shade specifically is for my grandma and for my mom and my aunt. I just feel like they three are my guardian angels and I love them so much. So that shade is for them. And I'm just gonna do a really nice wash over my lid. I just feel like, like you can see, it's literally so beautiful. I think I'm just gonna add a little bit into the inner corner as well, cause I feel like that really opens your eye and makes it look more awake. I have been so obsessed with like geometric shapes on my eyes. I feel like my eyes is where I really play and go crazy just because it's such a fun way to express myself and show color. I'm gonna go pretty bold. I'm gonna go in with this shade called Five. This is my perfect blue shade. And I'm gonna create some little lines and things. We'll see what I come up with, but I'm just gonna go for it. I lick my brush. I know that's probably gross, but I feel like everyone does it. And then I'm just gonna dip in. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep the same angled brush because it really works, um, is I'm just gonna go in with that same shade and do kind of a reverse wing. So I'm gonna start at the edge of my under eye and then kind of flick it out. I will wear a crazy eye look anywhere. It doesn't just have to be at home when I, no one will see me. Like I love doing these types of looks for photo shoots for events like and I'm not afraid anymore I used to be so scared to play with color but now that's all I want to do because I'm like why be boring when we can do something fun and it can make you feel happy so that's how I look at it okay so I feel like we're at a really really good point I think I'm just gonna go back in with that first shade I used and just like intensify the inner corner because I feel like that will add a lot to the look as well. No one looks cute when they curl their lashes, so I'm not even gonna try and look cute because you already know how it's gonna look. I'm gonna go in with my favorite mascara. I've gone through so many mascaras and I feel like this one is equally volumizing and lengthening. Just keeping the lashes pretty simple is what I try to go for. I think those are my eyes complete. Like I'm really, shocked it didn't really take that much time so today i'm gonna do my basically everyday lip combo i like to kind of find shades that are closest to my natural lip color i just slightly overlined just because i feel like it adds a lot to the look and just kind of like makes them look more defined so i just barely go over And then I'm gonna go in with my favorite lip pencil of all time. This is Subculture from MAC. I love it. Um, and I feel like this one is a little bit more pinky. This is my lip gloss from my collection. I always finish off a look with perfume. This has been my go-to recently. This is the Kate Spade perfume. I'm just gonna do a little. Mm. So this is my final look. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.